it's coffee time. Ah, and I had a great day. I had an awesome day. I have a hat, a new hat that is awesome, and I love it. It's like my new favorite hat of all time. Uh, I'm totally going to wear it to work tomorrow and just represent so hard. But today, okay, you guys, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story of woe that turned into awesome. So forever ago, forever ago, in preparation for my 100K, when Press Start to Continue is going to be hitting 100,000 subscribers, I wrote a song. I wrote this song so long ago. And I was like, I would really like to someday make this song for my 100,000, that would be great. And I have this friend named Ron who has the channel youtube.com slash hi I'm Ron. And I went to him and I still hadn't hit 100,000 yet. I went to him and I was like, hey, you're like good with music and stuff. Um, do you want to like help me like make this song sometime? And he was like, yeah. So we made this song like, like laid down the vocals for it. And he did all of the like actual instrumental stuff for it. And it was like a song, like it was done. And I wanted so badly to make a video for it for a hundred thousand and it just never happened. Like it just, it kept getting too much stuff was going on and I kept either forgetting about it or it would get like pushed aside for something else. And I was like, man, someday I really, really want to make that. But then it got to the point, you know, when you have a project that you did so long ago that now when you look back on it, you're like, I, I don't know if this is good. I can't tell if this is good anymore. Like, <laughs> at the time I really liked it, but I don't know if I really like it anymore. It got to that point for me. I was like, uh, maybe this should never see the light of day. Like, I don't think, uh... But so, finally, today, today, we filmed it. We filmed the video for this song. I'm so excited. So now that I'm at, what? 150... how many? How high am I now? 159,000 subs. I am finally going to get this video out. It'll be a yay 150,000 instead of a yay 100,000, I guess, because it, it's the only way it'll apply now, but I'm just so jacked. I'm so jacked that it's happening. Uh, and it's gonna be... I think that it's gonna be awesome. Like, I... I don't know about me, in it, but everybody else that was in it was great, and they were all my friends, and we just had a lot of fun, and it wasn't a super long shoot, like, it went by pretty quickly, so I think, I think that it's gonna be a cool video, and Lane directed it, and I trust Lane a lot, so I'm really excited, I'm really, really, really excited, and I can do it, yay, um, a couple of my friends while we were all at the shoot, uh, Get, what are you doing? Gave me the hat. Don't let me forget. Not that, not that you can help, but Courtney said that she wanted to see the cat before I was done filming this video because she hadn't seen the cat in a while, so I will make sure to do that. I don't know what he's doing, but he's making noise and it's really distracting. But yeah, hat. I love this hat so much. I'm just so excited to be the owner of it. Ah, and we filmed the video. I feel so accomplished. It's been so long since I wrote that song. So long. Ah, yeah. So I'm really, really jack. Cat. Hey. Me. What are you doing? <laughs> he was just like pawing the side of the litter box, and I was doing it again. What are you doing? You're not hitting sand. I would hear it. If you were hitting... If you were hitting the litter, I would hear it. I would know. And you're not even... He does this sometimes. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I'll be sleeping. And then out of nowhere, I'll just hear... Paw against plastic over and over and over again forever. For so long. But apparently cats do that sometimes. Um when they have, like, litter stuck between their toes, they'll just, like, paw things until they get all of the litter out. It's like, it makes sense, but why... I mean, I'm not about to question cat logic, but why, if you have litter between your toes, why would you paw 
the plastic and then just be putting your paw right in litter again. Like, it's just... It's just very weird to me, is what I'm saying. Cat, get out of there so that I can show them you! I feel creepy waiting for him to get out of the litter box. But he's not using it, he's just... being OCD. Hey! Hi! Are you done? Are you done being a weirdo? Huh? Hi! Hey, sweetie! What were you doing in there? Just being, being a sillies? Where's your ball? Where's your ball? I'm trying, I'm trying to teach him ball. I say it every time he brings it to me. And every time I throw it. Oh! It's like, I don't, I don't know. I just, just want to like hang out. Like, if you could just like pet me and stuff, that would be great. Hey, come here. Oh, fine. It's fine. It's whatever. I don't even care. Yeah. Oh, yeah, per box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Meow. So cute, huh? Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. He's not very interesting right now, but, uh... But he just had an epic row at the, the litter box, so I'll leave him to his doings. Oh, something that I thought uh, I could I could share with you guys um, just really quick, because uh, a few people wrote me um, on my Press Start to Continue video, I showed uh, me playing with the cat with a laser pointer. And I got a bunch of messages from people being like, I heard the laser pointers are really bad for animals, so you shouldn't use that anymore. Well, I've been told by vets before, um, when I was when I was a foster mommy for kitties, uh, what I was told is that the reason that laser pointers can be psychologically damaging to specifically cats is because they are predators. And if you only ever play with a cat with a laser pointer, um, they will never get the thrill of catching anything. They won't ever touch something that they're pursuing and it's really damaging to them like they they get really weirded out uh if if you do it all the time so <clears throat> during playtime don't ever just use a laser pointer or even don't use a laser pointer every day um because it can be psychologically damaging to them it's fine in general because it's just the same as them like chasing a light it's not like bad for their eyes or anything like that it's just it's purely the psychological feeling of chasing something and never being able to catch it so if you use a laser pointer every single day um the cat will just the cat will start to like question weird things so like with my cat um, I use the laser pointer very rarely and for very short periods of time, but for the most part, uh, I mean, he loves fetch. We just play fetch with him because he's chasing after something. He gets to catch it and he gets to bring it back. He gets to, like, do the retrieval. Um, and also the, the little, what are those called? The little, like, feathers on a stick thing. Loves that. Loves, loves that. But Fetch, Fetch is his game, man. And he's getting really good at uh, bringing the ball to us, regardless of where we are. Like, if he wants to play, he will find... What are you doing? This entire video, you're just gonna hear plastic clawing in the background. Ridiculous. Oh, well. <sighs> Anywho. Yeah, so that's, that's what I've been told by vets before. Um, I like the vets that worked at the shelter, is that they're okay, just don't only ever use them, because the cat will not, not be cool with it. <laughs> so just make sure that, that you play with, like, actual physical toys more often than the laser pointer, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, anywho, me and my awesome hat are gonna go elsewhere, probably to bed, but, um... <laughs> Hope that you guys had an awesome day. I had an awesome day. So I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.